camera's going. Okay. I'm going to zoom it in a little. Zoom it in a little. Okay, so this is uh, Sharonville Artists, and we're doing a demo for painting today. I'm going to start with the turquoise. To it, squirt it right in. Now, in a few moments, that pressure is going to force it to come out from the bottom. Sometimes it takes more paint, sometimes it takes less paint, but it will eventually give in. Sometimes I pour a little on the right, sometimes a little on the left. Still, it's not collapsing yet. If it doesn't collapse, I'll lift it a little. But I want to do it on its own. It Starting goes. to. Oh, look at that. So yeah. now you, you can see what's happening. See the little bubbles? And you can see the cells starting to develop on the sides. And now I'm just making my mind up what color I want to go in with, what other color I want to go in with. And this is what's great about a pour cup. I can actually see what colors are really predominant, which aren't. It has hardly any black, so I'm going to put a little more black in here. And I think more of this beautiful ice blue. Cups move. Cups move. And you can tell the cup where to go. You can move it around. And that's probably more than enough paint for that painting. So what I could do is force the cup to move and, and make it move around the canvas. Because you see, when I start tilting, this is already going to be at the edge. Because this is already at the edge. And you have to pour some of that off, unfortunately, because if you leave too much, if I leave it this thick, it'll crack. It'll dry cracked, OK? Look at the terrific cells. Mm -hmm. Took them long, yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> oh my god. So gorgeous. I'm not sure why the black isn't coming out here, so I'm just going to give another little squirt on that side. And yeah, help it along by lifting it a little bit. There you go. Isn't it magical? It's like a little baby. <laughs> a little baby boom boom. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> so it's starting to drip down the side, so it doesn't need a whole lot of tilting because... Now that will be for jewelry when you take that up. Look how pretty that is. It, mm -hmm. it, yeah, if it, if it, yeah, if I want to. So um, at, when I'm home, I torch it. And you know what a Bunsen torch is, right? A Bunsen torch makes more cells come up, and of course I didn't bring one with me, because you can't do that in here. And it also bursts any bubbles that, that, that come up. So we're just going to have to wing it. So you want to go around real slow so that the cells, and the cells are these, this is what's called the cells, so that the cells do not stretch too much and do not burst. That metallic paint is getting a lot more cells than the... the Interesting. Other. Yeah. I'm not crazy about this. <laughs> I'm not crazy about that. Yeah, just... But I hate to run that off. It isn't getting the cells that you would... Yeah, well, it, everything doesn't have to be cells. Yeah. You know, Viva La Difference. I've got a few cells in there, though. But, but I want to leave a little bit of that. See, now, I like that growing like that. I'm one of these people that likes big cells. So you keep going around in a kind of round circle. Leave the paint keep com coming back to the center. It's close to the edge there, so I'm going to just let that run off a little. As soon as it runs Maybe off, bring some it back. Of that, if you don't like that, you could, could you still put some of that in? Good that? question. You could squirt paint into it. And actually, there's hardly any um, green in this painting. You can squirt it in, but you take a chance when you do. Um, things will change. 
-hmm. And some stuff you have control over and some things you have no control over. But since you said it, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's fun to experiment. Let's just do a quick shoo oh, there. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> so we're going to move it around a little bit so it blends a little. I think I put just a little bit down in here too. Look what it's doing. See the cells coming up? Mm -hmm. Whenever you disturb the paint, move the paint, it's going to make cells. Mm -hmm. So you do want to move the paint a little. And you want to move it around a little circle so it starts disturbing the paint. Let it go off and let it come right back so we get some of that black back. So now you got that green there, mm -hmm. like you said. I just want to be careful not to lose those beautiful cells in the middle. <coughs> This has got to go off a little bit. Now you can help it by going like that so it doesn't have to go all the way off. This is a real little canvas so I can help things. Yeah, dirty finger. It would be better off to clean the finger, but it's all right, it's picking up that black. That's okay. So you want to always drip, the, take the drippings and wipe off. You want to use a clean finger when you're blending the sides, which I'm not doing. So that's what the paper towels is for. Okay, thanks. Seal with box so you're not dripping all over the place. This is all could be jewelry later. So you don't put that in a frame or anything? This is not a deep canvas, so you could put it in a frame. Some people don't. Some people just hang it on the wall just the way it is. Because of the colors and everything, this would be a beautiful piece for resining. See this shine? Resining would leave that kind of a shine on it. Mm -hmm. It will, sh it will dry completely matte and flat. Really? Completely matte and flat in a day or so. It'll be completely matte and flat. So if you like that shine, don't get in love with it too much because it's going to dry completely matte and flat. How do you get the shine back then? Resin. You know what resin is? So like resin a is... or a or something? No, resin's um, a part A, part B mixed together and then for two minutes and then pour on and it leaves a, a hard, a hard, very hard shine on the top, okay? So, Shirley, I'm glad you forced me to experiment because that green worked good in there, and I think I'm gonna pour this off the side here. So, resin's not epoxy. Epoxy, you mix two things together. It's kind of like epoxy Is without it? color. Without color. Now, they do have resins, I understand now, that you can add color to. Now this will keep developing cells. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. I'm glad you came. It was pretty neat. Yeah. Thank you. So this will keep making cells over a period of 15 minutes to even half an hour. And um, if I had the torch, it would bring up a, a lot more stuff. It would also intensify the lacing, the black lacing through here. So we're going to just, I think this is a pretty nice piece. How long does it take that to dry? A day and a half. Well, how are you going to get that home? I'm not. I stick it in the closet. You can. We've got a place to put it over here. Yeah, I stick. I stick it in the. I lock it up in there on the top. The time I come back next week, it'll be totally dry. Because nobody goes into that closet. Hopefully. Yeah. We've done them in the closet. Yeah, we've done them. We've done nobody them. took them. Or so yeah. they might take our cups, but they don't make <laughs> our paintings. <laughs> So, you know, right now I'm just thinking of composition and um, if I like the balance of this, the space. When I talk about composition, I'm talking about space. So, I like this space is different than this space is different than this space. I might want this to come up a little bit more and make some of this go over a little bit, but then it would move it over to here. If I, if I tilt this, this is going to move over a little. And I kind of like it over the center instead of right in the center. Mm -hmm. And I like that this is interfering with the center. See, there's more cells coming up. So I think we're going to leave this piece alone. Looks pretty good. And you guys are going to try. I got three canvases. And I have lots of paint. So we could even try a swipe if oh. one of them doesn't come out good. So who's next? I'll do one. She'll, she'll All right. <laughs> okay, well, we got three of them. So, um, 
Kathleen did one last time, okay. so maybe one of you new, new I'll guys will try. try one. So what I'm going to do is move this somewhere so that it could dry, or it, it won't what dry. What are going to put it on? I'll put it on these cups and just move it over. And if I was home, I have another table, or I would just let it dry in the box. See the boxes? And just, I would just move the box and get another box, because I have three. It's good to have like three or four boxes. Okay. I have three or four boxes already lined and, and, and ready to go, different sizes. But since I'm not home, I'm just going to take that and move it over. Stay there. Now, I'm going to yeah. shut the camera off. We can sit and watch this around the edge. So this is Shirley Moore. She's going to be doing a her first pour. Don't lift the cup. Don't lift the cup. Just do it right around the edge without lifting the cup. Don't touch the cup either. Because you'll make it you'll you'll make it start bleeding on the bottom. You don't need to be fancy with it. No. Either. All right, got that good enough. Yeah, make sure it's just all the way around. Cool. But she's doing this so that it flows better, right? Tiny, tiny, eight by nine by ten canvas. We'll put that down. And so we're gonna pour right into the cup. This one. Yeah. Pour about it, oh, no, an inch or so. Let it cover the whole bottom. Okay. So she's that's doing good. The same it's enough. You did. Is that? It's enough. Got mm -hmm. enough? Because that's the pink. Yeah. Now put the green. Could same you, way. Could you switch the color? Now she's doing the, a dirty pour right now, which yeah. means she's pouring it all over I and mean, letting it. Could she put like the Is that green good on enough or more? Yeah. A little more. You know, whatever you want. Okay. So when you pour down the side, you put that one down. It's called, it's called a layered pour. When you do, do it like she's doing, it's a dirty pour. Okay. So a dirty pour goes like more around the whole mixture. You are do it on the side then? You could do it on the side or in the middle, whichever you want to do. You could do it different. Do it in the middle and squirkle it around. Let's see what happens. Okay. And that's the ice blue. Is that enough? No. And, oh, yeah, it's enough of that one. Now oh. the white. It's all right, you can't make a mistake with this. It'll just pour off the side. That's all, don't worry about it. Now, just put this in now. Squirt it all around. There you go. We're doing a dirty pour. Mm, okay, and here it's starting to come. Okay, now, black now, now do the black. Into the squirting Ooh, again. I love that. Yeah. So the dirty pour is making a little difference than the, than the um, layered pour. You get not enough black. Put a little bit on that side. There you go. All right, now the green again, because last time we didn't put enough green, remember? That big cell coming up in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is this going to be a Christmas card? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a no red? <laughs> that no red. That? <laughs> that just automatically comes from Now the white again. Cup, right? yeah. yeah, the pressure. Pressure is making it. It could just hold the sides just so long. More. A little more. Seems like this side is. That's something that's. Uh, we can move it over a little bit. Here we go. The, the black ran up on the outside of the cup over there. That's okay. You know, when it lifts up, it's all good. It'll, 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 it'll do good. Like that. Now it's going to change. Always going to change. Put a little more black over here and don't go on the outside. Make sure it's on the inside, that you squirt in the inside. Here? Yeah, down this way. This way. Oh, there you go. She's got more than I have. <laughs> I hope so. I've been doing about 140 of these things. Okay, let's put a little bit more. Um, It's not moving, there's plenty of paint in there. So we're gonna help it. Just move it around. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that! How cool. Oh wow. Starry, starry night. <laughs> it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's 
really pretty. So you got you got your gloves on. Mm -hmm. So wait a few minutes. It's going to still start. It's going to keep making cells. Mm -hmm. Okay. So oh, look at that. So while you're look. yeah, it'll keep popping up cells. So while it's it's making cells, you want to think about. Um, Space up there. Yeah. <laughs> with that, the whole thing uh, looks like outer space. Uh, floating around. You want to think about. Um, Maybe like that space. Can I get this? Oh, yeah. there we go. Right. There we go. You want to think about which way you're going to tilt. And you want to let it keep making cells for a few minutes. Because this, this is so fabulous on the side, and it's already going over the edge. Mm -hmm. So I would say, well, I don't have to go over the edge more here. It's already over the edge, mm -hmm. and I want to preserve some of that. Yeah. This is where I'm thinking I'm going, around here. That's kind of cool, that little mm -hmm. corner. So I'm going to probably, you would probably tilt a little bit this way, slowly, and, and just a little bit like I did the rounding thing. And then as you do that, this will go over the edge, and then you want that to go over the edge. You want this and this to be preserved. Okay. You want me to try Don't it? worry, it's fine. Want me to try it right now? Yeah. Tilt it that way and that way. And that way. Slowly. Don't tilt a lot. Let it go over slowly. That's it. Let it go slowly. Now let it come to the left a little as you're tilting. Pull it back a little. Okay. Try again. I would turn it around and work on this end. Turn it around completely. Turn the whole painting yep, around? Yeah, the whole thing around. No, nope, the other way. The other way. This way? To the right. Keep going to the right. Okay, as soon as you could sit it somewhere. That way? Yep. Okay. So you can see you got a lot of turquoise here and very little black. Mm -hmm. You want to go off that edge. So I would just take this and let it go off that edge. But don't let that black go more. Just lean it that way. Lean it there. That direction. Go that way first and then off. Because you want to prevent that from going. No, 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 no. Let it go all the way down first. You want to keep this in if you can. Okay, okay. See, it's, now, it's making its way. It's making its way. Just keep going that way. Good, very good. This is growing this too. Do you see that, guys? Mm -hmm. It's growing, yeah. Wow. Stay this way, but keep going that way. a girl, it'll get there. Well, that's gorgeous. Now let it go off the edge a little. Go that way? Yep. Okay, come back. Take the tip of your finger and just tip that right there where that white is. So it doesn't have to go back over, over, right into this. Into the black? Yep. And go that way. Okay, good, that's good. Now it doesn't have to go over that edge anymore. So, look at look how it grew this. Mm. And this was, this. look at the cells. Oh, I love that, <laughs> right there. Oh my God, the cells are gorgeous, I'm envious. Look at the difference. Same paint, same paint. This is, this is doing great. Isn't that great? Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Okay, so what do you have? One little corner left, right? Yeah. Now, we, we can do two things. We could either fill it with black and just let it come over a little bit, just a little bit, or we can let it swim this way a little bit. If we let it swim this way a little bit, we're gonna lose some of this. Oh, okay. All right? So I think what we should do is take a little black and squirt it in here. Take the black. Okay, you want black there, not any of these other colors. No. Because that's got, the black's going to go off anyway. So just make it right in there. a girl. Is that oh, enough? Into there. Wherever this is the white. Let it come out. Cover the white. Okay. Beautiful. Now put that down. Now we're going to turn it again so that this is up there and this is down here. doing a good job here over this way or more. More. or more 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 over this way okay so now we're going to just let this run just gently gently down that way so we're going to lift it like this and like that 
Not here, because that'll make this go off too much. Okay, lift this. Yep, and just let it aim for that corner, like you're aiming an arrow. Real careful, slowly. Yep, right side up a little bit more. Right side up a little bit more. And a little bit higher here. Okay, you don't want that running off, so go mm -hmm. this way a little bit. This hand up, this hand up, this hand up. Oh. See, it's all, it's all about gravity, right? Mm-hmm. And, and you got to keep your eyes all over. Because otherwise, to accomplish that, you might make this go off too much. Mm-hmm. A little higher, so it moves a little faster. A little bit this way, this hand. This hand a little higher. See, I'm watching all, all four corners. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it doing it? It's going over now. Is it doing yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, Come you out. can pull back. Oh, oh, yeah, because you're losing pull the bottom. Pull back. Drop it. Okay. All right, now with your finger, go around this corner with your finger, that black. Just pull it, pull it around. Get the, especially, no, no. Get, especially the white corner. Good, okay. Right up into there. Per okay, perfect. Stop right there. Great. On the other corner, is it covered there? Or is oh it white? Yeah, goodness, okay. that is gorgeous. Okay. So now you have uh, ta turquoise here. Clean your gloves off, but you don't want to put black all over. Mm -mm. You have turquoise here. You've got a little turquoise here. You've got a little turquoise here. So and would on you this side, <coughs> quite a bit of white. Quite a bit of white. Okay. Oh yeah, I've got quite a bit of, to do on that side. So that's the last part, really, if you're satisfied. And I think this is a gorgeous pour. I really do. I love it. I think it's, I like the composition. I love all this going on in here. If I'm gonna zoom in on it, it's so gorgeous. Now you want me to take turquoise over here, did you say? So what you're gonna do with the dirty, oh, is it not zooming in? Oh, I'm gonna take it off the stand. Uh, I asked her a few questions about it, and she said, and uh, then I watched a few YouTube videos, of course, of them using the torching. Ooh, something fell down. No, no, no. That, that was out there in the hallway. Okay, so I'm giving you a close up of Shirley's, and a close up of mine, and look at the difference. Just the difference. We used open cut pour, but the same colors, but just just the way she tilted it, or I'm not sure, maybe adding more black, or she did a dirty pour. Mm. Mm. She did a dirty pour and I did a layered pour, and that might have made the difference, right girls? Yeah. Shirley, yeah. give a wave. Hey. Hey, there you go. First pour painting, good job. All right. So Ed's next, or is it what, normal? What I wanted to do, do you think I need to put the turquoise around here? There's plenty of turquoise paint down there. I okay, think. okay, wait, we're gonna stop it. We'll let you do that off camera. Norma. Yeah. And Norma is going to do her first pour painting. Right, Norma? Right. So first we're going to move this one. Let me put that in pours. So this is a um, tree ring pour we're going to try. I want to just hold this so I don't drop it in so the paint. So we're going to pour this right in the middle? I'm going to show you. I'm going to start it. So you leave it right where the beak is. Right where the beak is. And you're going to make tiny, tiny, minute circles like like this just like that and you continue to do that oh, no. tiny tiny and right in the beak right in the middle slowly too big that's it let's make it in the container <laughs> And none of my green is showing. Keep going. Whatever is at the bottom comes in the middle at the end. So you still got a lot at the end there. And then it's going to get lighter again. It does have a lot of black, you're right. This looks like a big pancake. So it's a tree ring pour. A tree ring pour, yeah. Because it looks like a tree ring. Okay, now it's going to start getting lighter because that's what's at the bottom of the cup. 
keep making them circles. That's it. Now you got it. Now you got it. The more you practice that, the better you'll get at it. I just don't want that to go off the edge. Keep coming. See, it's getting lighter now because that's whatever's at the bottom of your cup is going to be what's last and wind up in the middle. Now that's different than the other ones, right? Mm -hmm. Sure is. Now, is those circles going to remain there or are they going to spread out? Yeah, we'll see. Things change all the time. <laughs> so we're fascinated, aren't we? Yep, we're fascinated. The only thing is, is none is a What do you call one of those things that make in the ocean where it goes around and around? Whirlpool? Or? Whirlpool, all right. Okay, why don't you stop a minute? Is there something? Now, you guys know this is going to change. Now, just keep rolling easily around. Don't let that go off anymore really from that side. Go off that process. side. You know, to see all that. Because that's more boring. And this now, right, right hand corner. Learn all these paint things. That's it, keep going. Well, you have to write all that down. To, if you're going to buy them, you have to write it down. Or you'd never uh, Let it come all the way up down. Now go back up I fast. I was going to say, I'm losing all my Go over there. Green Head for that. Again. Head for that. It'd have to be out on your porch or your come garage, back. wouldn't it, Ruth? Head for that corner. Don't let that roll off. Yeah, keep you straight this way. Don't let that roll off. Come back a little. Yeah, right. Come back a little. Okay. Now come to this corner. Just, but don't let that roll off. That means you have to go this way. Come back. To put it on my pool table. All right. But if I got paint on it, it would put it down. I like that better since we added the green. Yes, it's very pretty. Yeah. But so this is oh, getting all the yeah the cells. Mm -hmm. So this is more like a gray, well, I have a, a gray, um, I not so much turquoise in it. Know. And because um, we did a tree pour, we did so doing a different type of pour makes a different result, right? Right. And there's a lot of cells. There's a lot of cells coming up in here. Where's my finger? Where's my finger? Oh, there it is. A lot of cells coming up in here. This this has got this some beautiful so cells in here. Yeah, very pretty. I love that. Ooh, I love that one up there. Up there, that orange into the. I mean, the yellow with a gray in the center. So this will keep making cells. Now, do you like that enough to keep it, or you want to swipe? I like it? this one. You like that one? Yeah, you're swiping. <laughs> <laughs> Upset you? <laughs> All right, it's a keeper. Okay. No, Ed is going to be doing his first pour painting. And it's going to be an open cup pour. Yeah. On the set. <laughs> Quiet on the set, right? Yeah. Okay, it's recording. Okay, so this is Ed. He's going to be doing his first pour painting. And we're going to start with, um, mm, let's see, we've started with black, we've started with turquoise. Let's start with the green. And let's do it right along the side. One more. Okay. All right. Now some turquoise. I don't know which one's turquoise. Yeah, dear, dear, that one. The other one's ice blue. Uh, where at? Um, let's do it like she did it. Right? Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Right along. That's a dirty pour. We'll do a dirty pour. Keep going. All right. Let's put some white. Can really drop it in with some black. A little more. All right, and let's Did go back to some white. And let's do some green. 
Okay, she's still not coming out the bottom, is she? Not yet. Okay, let's do some more turquoise. The darker one? Yeah, that's it. That's a gorgeous color. Now you could also change the colors. You could add white to them. You can make them lighter. Uh, let's add the blue. Light blue. Here it comes. Here it comes. And the white. It's green. It's black. Now he's been doing a very light one every time he does it versus a big strong pour. So we'll see how that affects it too. So is his going to be different than what we've been doing? Well, his is going to be, it's always different. Yeah, There's but not, I mean uh, the method. Well, maybe it'll come out like this one because it's an open cup, that's an open cup, and it's also a um, dirty pour, which dirty means pour. we didn't do it along the side and make Look layers. That. That's pretty, very pretty. Hmm. Now he can let it escape a little bit if he wants to, but it's developing kind of nicely as it comes out slowly. I think it needs more paint, so put some some uh, more um, more of that. Let's just, just let's use up the paint because I can't have nothing to carry it home with. There you go. Ooh, oh, now it's coming. Move, boy. Okay, now it's going. See what I meant about an open cup pour? You could actually see what's happening. And the cup's actually moving, see it? Yeah, put some black. You could tell from the pour what you need more of. That's what I like about an open cup pour. Okay. See there's hardly any black? I'll put a little more black in. A little bit, and then I would go back to some white. Nice, okay. Now when you mix black and white, sometimes you get gray. Yeah. So you got to watch out for that sometimes. But this is very pretty. Yeah, very pretty. Can you some more green? Or? Yeah, green. Yeah. This green? Yep. Bright green. Give it a good squirt. Yeah, that's forcing it. Let's not let it go off the side. Let's keep it from moving. We must, our table must be slammed. Yeah, so. it's, okay. We can make it move this way. By just tilting it. We could actually move the open cup around this way too. Okay. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Look at those big cells. Woo what would happen if you just picked that cup up now? It would just all go all over the place. Oh, okay. And want that's to. okay. I mean you can do that. But this is kind of fun too, just letting it Roll around a little bit. I want to see how that comes out, but I'm going to need to go. Okay. Now you can drag it like this. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, neat! Wow. Wow, that really looks good. Mm -hmm. Now we'll see what happens, what develops. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? It is pretty. It's like a wave coming in, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like... It's gorgeous. Looks like my comb over. <laughs> <laughs> Without the cells. <laughs> Without the cells. <laughs> it's really pretty. Comb over. Look at the cells, cells coming up. Now. Yeah, they keep coming up. See, could that, you know why this happened? Because we moved the paint. It was wow. it was coming out slow and it was moving the paint. But then when we moved it, the cup fast like that, it forced it forced it to. I like that green. Now, more of that in it. You said you only put two or three drops. What would happen if you put... Uh, too much silicone is going right. to make... What would happen? Get too oily. Get and then you have a film of oil on top. You don't want too much... Should too I much. tilt this a little bit, Ursula? You can tilt it now. So which way are you going first? Oh, oh. That way? I would get rid of this first. That's the most boring corner. That's got some pretty stuff. And he's doing it nice and slow, beautiful. Be careful you don't go up so much that way, you're going to lose those. So tilt it a little bit this way. So it, yeah, that's it. Control the way it's going. 
by the way you lift one end or the other. It's on record. Yeah. Okay, you can really get coming off here and Okay, that's good. Make this come back this way a little bit more because you don't want to lose all that beautiful black up there. Yeah, wrong way. This way. Tilt this up. No, this up. This up and then that way. There you go. There you go. Now you're controlling it. Now they go in the little corner, see? As soon as it reaches that corner, let it come back up. Good. Now you're going to use the stuff. Now while you're down there, let's get that one. Because you've got a ledge there. We want to get rid of that ledge. That's beautiful. You're going to use the stuff. No, let the it come. That ledge has got to come off. That'll yeah. be too thick. Yeah. It's got to come right off. Now I know what you mean by a ledge, okay. Yeah, see, okay, now bring it back as soon as it's over. Now we can start coming up this way. And I would turn it around the other way so you can work it vertically now. Wow. That's neat. This is almost over the edge already, so let's get that one done. stretch a little bit, not too much. And that, if you make cells stretch too much, they get warpy, but it's, you're not getting warpy. You can help this with your finger. See? Okay. See? Now go back, now you're going to that corner. Beautiful. Good. Good what? No, don't let that go over too much. Just let it go straight for that corner. It's probably a stupid question. Probably. If you put your paint on there and and you smeared it, could you try to make a picture of something and see what happens? A smear is really a swipe. Really a swipe. I mean a swipe. Could you like take a a straw or a, your finger, whatever, and make an image and make an image of something and would it do something? You can do anything you really want. Doesn't, there's no guarantee it's going to turn out the way you... This kind of painting doesn't lend itself to images. It's, it's not a, um, the kind of a painting that lends itself to realism or photograph. Per this is more abstract. Okay, come back. You want to come back quite a bit. Come back, come back, come back. Don't lose that end, so just come straight down this way. That's it. We want this to grow a little. Alright. Does it need some of that green? Yeah, you want to go around with your finger and get all the white parts. Um, that green is pretty in there, isn't it? It's got a little bit. Now, it's going to keep making cells. Okay, because he moved that a lot. So that's going to force that paint to make cells. I would say you check that back and like, I don't know, what time is it? Oh, 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, you'll see a big difference in that. You'll see cells come up. And if we had had the burner, you know, that would have made a difference too. Wow. Yeah, it's got nice manly colors, you know. It's, nice manly color. <laughs> it does. It's nothing, you know, uh, flamboyant or that they're going to make fun of him like he's always going to Yeah, it's like... <laughs> it's a nice, it's a I nice. won't tell you what my golfer 